Yo, guys, what is up? Max in our Elden Ring video, and today we are going over my Lord of Lightning Faith build. Now, this is a primarily casting faith build. I was a little underwhelmed by incantations until I started using this build. Now we can hit for over 10,000 damage with our incantations. So primarily a casting build. There are secondary stat that we're going to be focusing on is dexterity to use some quick weapons and get a lot of damage out of our weapons as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and the video. We'll be going over the locations at the end of it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, over 85% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So maybe consider it. It helps me out a ton. And with that, guys, let's get right into the video. So we're going to go over my stats first. Now, this is a build that you can start going into as early as you'd like. There's no, like, you need to get this weapon or you need to get this incantation for this build to work. But there are some really, really cool pieces that'll just blow our damage out of the water. So for my stats, I'm currently level 165. I don't plan on increasing that level anymore. Um, but I have 40 points in vigor, which is just plenty of vigor. Honestly, as a caster, you're going to get hit less. So 40 is, is fine for me. I've got 35 in mind. We want to be able to cast as much as we can. 25 into endurance. It's going to get our equip load up. And when we cast incantations, it's going to use stamina. So you don't want to cast a bunch and then not be able to dodge roll out of the way of an attack. 16 strength. Once again, this is a dexterity focused build we just have enough strength to be able to use some of the weapon choices but if you want to pump that strength and use this with strength weapons and faith you could do that the reason dexterity is good as a secondary damage stat here is one because or mainly because dexterity increase our cast speed we are going to be mainly using incantations for our damage and dexterity is going to allow us to use those incantations faster giving us more opportunity to get incantation damage in and less chance to get hit intelligence is nine faith is 80 80 is the soft cap for faith you do not want to put any more points into faith you do not want to put any talismans on that increased faith after 80 80 is if you're not familiar with soft caps basically the amount of points that you can get put into this stat before the diminishing returns are just absolutely not worth it uh even from 60 to 80, you're going to get big diminishing returns, but 80 is the soft cap. And then nine points into Arcane. I originally had a lot of points in Arcane. Um, to min-max, I took them out. The Arcane incantations with the dragons are cool, but we don't need them. Uh, and some of the best late-game incantations are just off of Faith. So that those are my stats. By the way, for leveling, I would recommend for every five points you put into Faith, maybe put two points into Vigor, one point into Mind, and a point into Endurance whenever you feel like you're running out of stamina on bosses or that you want to equip cooler armor. Don't worry about your Dexterity stat until you're at least at 60 Faith because you're going to want to focus on your damage via Faith first and then dexterity more as a secondary stat once you're already hitting those damage numbers that you'd like then you can focus on dexterity for that faster cast time and to use some cooler weapons so let's talk about gear and i am not perfectly min maxed for my gear there's a few things that i'd like to go get and full transparency with you i recently started a new game plus playthrough where i missed some things on my first run through for example i am using the faithful canvas talisman which raises the potency of incantations, but there's a leveled up version of this that you get later on in the game that greatly raises the potency of incantations. So I could be doing even more damage, and if you have that, you could be doing even more damage than me, which is already crazy because we're doing so much freaking damage. Um, so the things that I like to use for spell casting, I'll change it up if I want to use weapons. We'll talk about weapons in a second, but for like spell casting, I like using the Faithful Canvas, the Godfrey's Icon, which will increase the damage of charged spells. Not all spells can be charged. Uh, so if you're going to use spells that can be charged, Godfrey's Icon is really great for that extra damage. The Lightning Scorpion Charm will raise my lightning attack damage. Full transparency, lightning's very cool, but you're gonna wanna use other elements during your playthrough. Uh, you will find things that are resistant to lightning. And fire is incredibly powerful as well. So is holy. Uh, fire is extra, extra strong in this game because of the flam grant me strength um, incantation. This is going to boost your fire damage, all fire damage by 20%, which is kind of nuts. Um, so I like 
also using fire spells as well as lightning against anything that looks like a plant or looks like something that would take a lot of damage from fire and then the ritual sword talisman uh, this is pretty much what i have on if i'm trying to melt a boss it's a 10 percent increase for all your damage if i'm not using that uh i might use something like the uh radagon's sword seal just for more vitality and durance strength and dexterity which is really nice which once again will kind of increase my cast speed i've heard that the radagon icon is bugged and doesn't actually increase uh spell casting time i'm gonna be honest i haven't timed it down to like the millisecond uh but just know that that might not be the most viable option all right for our armor, I'm rocking the Confessor Hood, which you start the game with as a Confessor, uh, and then Malachus Armor Set, which I think looks really, really cool and fits our, like, Dark Lightning kind of vibe super, super well. Uh, I actually love this set. Uh, you get Malachus Armor Set from beating Malachith, who's a main story boss, so if you're not there yet, you will get there. Uh, you do have to fight him. Um, and then for our seals... We're using the Gravelstone Seal primarily for Dragon Cult incantations. I know this says Dragon Cult. Dragon Cult is lightning. I, that may be confusing. Um, Giant Seal is a plus 24 for our fire incantations. And uh, if you want to use any seals uh, or just anything and not level up a specific one, like if you don't want to have a specific thing for each one, uh, the Erd Tree Seal is the best scaling seal in the game for general damage. The boost to Giant's Flame incantation and boost to Dragon Cult in incantations are a 10% damage increase, which will outweigh the overall scaling of the Erd Tree. But just want to let you know, for weapons, the weapon choice is entirely up to you. There's a lot of cool weapons that you could work with this build, but I recommend at base getting a weapon you can apply an Ash of War to, and I like the Keen Uchi Katana. Now, I'm using the Uchi Katana because I can apply my own Ash of War to it, and we're going to be using Royal Knight's Resolve. Now, listen up close. Royal Knight's Resolve increases the damage of your next attack by 80%, and it works for incantations. Note, this may not be intended, this may get fixed, so this build could be impacted by that, full disclosure. Uh, but at the moment, when I use this, I now get 80% damage on my incantations, which is absolutely nutty. And we're using the Keen Scaling on our Uchi Katana, because if I changed it to Sacred, I wouldn't be able to apply Vike's Dragon Bolt. With Vike's Dragon Bolt, my Keen Uchi Katana, which gets A scaling off of Dexterity, now gets added Lightning Damage. So I'm able to take advantage of both that Dex stat and my Faith stat. Uh, and from testing, with the Vike's Dragon Bolt, the Keen Uchi Katana hits harder than it does with Faith Scaling with the Sacred or Holy Damage. So that is why I'm keeping it at Dex Scaling and why we're also specking into Dexterity is because our weapon will deal more damage. For our incantations, these are what I like to rock. We've got Fortis X's Lightning Spear. This is amazing for large targets and getting up close. You want to be literally next to an enemy when you use this. Uh, we've got Flame Grant Me Strength for 20% fire damage increase. We've got Golden Vow, which you always want to use. Always have this on for a 15% damage increase. Uh, don't know what the defense value is, but 15% more damage. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is the, on a big monster, the best damage we can possibly deal. Vike's Dragon Bolt, in my testing, does the exact same amount of added electricity damage as the Electrify Armaments, which doesn't give you the lower equip load, so Vike's Dragon Bolt is better. Uh, Fla Giant's Flame Take Thee as our primary fire damage dealing source, and then Lightning Spear for our quick, fast damage. Those are incantations. And lastly, for our damage rotation on our physique, I'm using the mixed physique that's going to boost my lightning damage and my fire damage, so I don't need to swap it out depending on what attack I'm using. Uh, I'm just going to get damage from both of those. And then our rotation is apply the Flame Grant Me Strength buff to yourself, then apply Golden Vow, or either or, it doesn't matter the order of those. Then you're going to want to drink your physique, uh, so then, or your physic, so that you now have that increased damage. Then pop, you want to do this last at least from what I've seen and worked out, uh, do the Royal Knights Resolve last and then immediately do your spell or whatever you're trying to do. Uh, there we go. Our, my Lightning Spear just hit for 4,200 damage. Just to give you an idea of how much damage we're dealing with this build. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I will have the locations for everything that you need right after this. I'm just going to say my goodbyes now. A lot of effort went into making this build and testing it and collecting all the items. So if you found it helpful in any way, I really do appreciate hitting that like button and maybe subscribing. Really, really do appreciate it. Guys, I will catch y'all in the next one. Enjoy the locations. Take care. Peace.
So for the location of the Royal Knights Resolve, you're gonna to wanna to go to Temple Eagle by the Volcano Manor, and then follow this path that 100% uh, Guides is running right now. You're just going to keep going, and it's a, it's a little bit tricky, but follow this path, and eventually you will get to the Royal Knights Resolve to get that Ash of War. The Lightning Talisman can be found in the Wyndham Catacombs. You're going to need to use a Stone Sword Key to access a Mist Covered Door, and in it you will get the Lightning Scorpion Talisman. To get the Faithful Canvas Talisman, you're going to want to go to the Celia Crystal Tunnel. It's on a corpse there. Uh, to get the Phlox Canvas Talisman, which I need to do, which is the bigger damage increase for incantations, you're going to want to talk to Millicent uh, and do her quest line near Celia. For the Godfrey's Icon Talisman, you're going to want to come over to the Grand Lift of Dectus or the Altus Plateau and go to the Golden Lineage Everjail where you're going to kill an enemy and he will give you Godfrey's Icon. The Lightning Crack tier to increase your lightning damage can be found by killing the Erd Tree Avatar at the Minor Erd Tree at the top of Lyurnia. And the Fire Crack tier to increase your fire damage can be found by killing the Erd Tree Avatar in Kaled at this uh, Minor Erd Tree here on the right. Uh, not to be confused with this one on the left. The Ritual Sword Talisman, which increases your damage when your HP is full, can be found at the Lux Runes. If you're at the Erd Tree Gazing Hill, you're going to want to run all the way around and then go up this hill. And after you kill the boss, you can get it. Or if you have the Grand Lift of Dectus um, Bonfire, you can just go straight up this hill and then go down the stairs and you'll kill a boss and you'll get it. For the Gravel Stone Seal, which increases the damage of Lightning Incantations, I'm sorry I don't have the waypoint right now, but you're going to want to go to Lendl, the Royal Capital, and then the first floor Manor Waypoint. When you walk out there, there is a knight on your left who is going to have Lightning spells and stuff like that. If you kill him, he'll drop the Gravel Stone Seal. And lastly, for the Fire Scorpion Talisman, you're going to get that from Fort Laid. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to get to. I actually recommend going to the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. From there, walk up this path, and then you'll get to the Wyndham Ruins. You'll see a river flowing through the mountains, and you're just going to want to follow that river. That'll lead you underneath Volcano Manor and everything, and then you'll pop out at Fort Laid. For the locations of the incantations, I actually just put out a video going over the best end game incantations and in that video i give the locations for all of the incantations i used during this video so as to not do it all over again uh, i will reference that video which will be a pinned comment if you're looking for the locations of the incantations I was